Welcome back. Now, the second meeting of the second session of the 8th Parliament of the 4th Republic has reconvened after recess. During this meeting, 69 bills are expected to be presented to the House. Now, notable among these are, oh, you're about to be protected on your screen very shortly, the Affirmative Action Bill of 2022, the Interstate Succession Bill of 2022, the Aged Persons Bill 2022, as well as the Rent Bill 2022. Uh, we also know that uh, a total of 10 bills are at the committee level. The Ghana Hydrological Authority Bill, which is currently on the Committee of Works and Housing, the Ghana Standards Authority Bill on the Committee of Trade, Industry and Tourism, the Exemptions Bill, which is under the Finance Committee, the National Pensions Amendment, which is also under the Committee of Employment, Social Welfare and State Enterprise, and finally, the Criminal Offences Bill under the Committee of Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs there. So here are some of the notable uh, things that will be going on there in Parliament as Parliament resumes today. And now Parliamentary Correspondent Komla Kluche has been interacting with some parliamentarians. Take a listen. For two months, Parliament has been on break and most of the MPs have returned or had returned to their constituencies where some bonding and reconnecting with the various constituents uh, did go on. But as we speak, it's the 24th of May and the House is reconvening today for business of the House to continue. Well, this is what it is now. It's uh, way after 10 a.m. Uh, just few members of the house are in here well a lot of things that transpired in the last sitting but the expectation especially from the speaker and the leadership of the house both majority and minority is that uh, there would be some level of consensus that is is built amongst the various caucuses for workings of the house to progress uh, government uh promise to all Ghanaians that once E-Levy is passed, all our problems will be solved. There will be more jobs for the young people, roads will be built and everything. We are told that the government is uh, determined to bring back the, uh, I mean, the obnoxious uh, Ejapa deal back to parliament. And we are determined to do whatever it takes to stop it because this is basically trying to hand over the mineral wealth of this country into the, to some cronies in a Ponzi scheme that they will forever own uh, this country as part of the state cap, uh, capture. Now currently I can see there are a lot of expectation on us uh, looking at the current challenges, global economic challenges and everything that we do have. They expect that we may be able to put in place certain plans, certain policies, help government to be able to turn around and that is what we are going to do. I mean yes, we've gone to our constituencies for the past two months, engaged our people, solicited for the opinions and views and also put them together so that coming in here when policies, when programs, when all the activities that the executive will bring, i.e. the government will bring, we'll then be able to be able to incorporate what we've gotten from our constituents into uh, what is being brought so that their expectations will be met for us to be able to move the country. First, we are also aware in the last seating, uh, the speaker made some referrals to uh, some committees specifically on uh, the issue regarding some majority MPs who have been referred to the Privileges Committee. It's expected that the committee uh, will will now meet and then commence its work. Within the holidays, we are told not much has been done, even though the Speaker had given some two weeks, it's been two months now, that has not been done. Uh, we are expecting that uh, some action will be taken and then a finality will be brought regarding the absentee MPs, including uh, the embattled Domi Kwabinya MP, Sarah Ajoasafo. So this is what it will be like regarding the agenda for this particular um, meeting and then uh, a lot of action would also be expected. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.